Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Hook 'em Hard Fishing on this cold December morning. <laughs> yeah, today, I'm trying to do something a little bit different. I'm trying to do something a little bit different today. Before I really learned how to use artificial, this spot right here used to be my hot spot on a cold day. And so since I didn't know how to use all the fish, I'd always use dead bait, live bait. So today I, I decided to do something a little different. Don't get me wrong, I got my artificial with me and I am going back in the marsh to hopefully catch some flounder or something like that. But I should sit right in this very spot and cast out in the open, in the open lake that had a certain spot where there's an oyster bed at. And, and I should sit there and, and catch redfish and black drum back to back all day but the water have to be right so i don't know if the conditions are right this morning so i just wanted to give it a try to see and if it don't work then i'm gonna go into the marsh but i haven't did this in a while i used to love it i mean i just sit there as soon as the uh the bait would hit the water they yank it in and grabbing on it it's cold and windy uh, i think i'm i think i got enough clothes on i'm kind of chilly but i'll be all right but uh we're gonna time to see what's gonna happen God bless. Oh, I got a bell from the drum spot for a minute. I see some birds working in the distance. I have to give that a try later. Oh man, I should have brought my other boat. Yes, sir. But oh well. What's gonna happen is gonna happen anyway. So hey, time to try to see if I can go over there and hit something. Make it to the birds in time. They was hitting like it was a school, but they done moved on without me, so. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'm going to go see what's going on in the marsh right now. It's another one of those days when it's the, the, the tide is, you know, coming from low, going to high, but it's a, basically an all-day rising tide. So I don't expect too much, but. I just didn't feel like, you know, I just wanted to be on the water today. I just love being on the water. So yeah, hopefully I'll hook me some and get some good footage. I casted him. I seen his back right there and I threw it to him. I think he on there. Mm, just sight casting him. Yep. I see, look at that. Oh, look at that. I seen his back. Cause the water's kind of green, it's clear like, threw it right to his mouth. Oh man, that was sweet. That was sweet, just sight casted him, babe. Oh, that bad boy going crazy. Come on here. Just sight casted him, oh yeah. Come on, don't you get off. Oh man, ooh, they're pretty red too. Oh, come on back here. Oh, it's been slow all morning. That's why I've been. I came back here to the marsh, man. That was sweet. I love when the water is this color. He swallowed that bad boy too. Oh yeah. I love when the water is that color. When it's like a green is almost clear, like you can see through it. Oh man, I seen this. I looked over there and I said, man, they look like a fish. Then I kind of stood up. Then when I stood up, man, I can see him moving. So I decided to cast right there and he smashed it. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if he legal size yet, but we about to see. Man, first redfish of the day. First bite of the day too. Done off a of sight cast. Pretty dark red too, look at that. 24 and a quarter. I was standing up sight casting that, boy. I love to do that. That is so much fun when you can see the fish before you even cast, man, and then throw it right at him and boom, then he hit it. He hit it hard too, look at that. Ooh, 24 and a quarter. Try to see if I can get some more. That's what I like about this little 
Bass Raider, man. I'm standing up using the front trolling motor, looking around at this this water, and this water's kind of green, it's clear like, and so I can see pretty good. So uh I'm gonna see if I can see some more see some more of them and hopefully I'll sight cast a couple more of them. Mm, that's what your boy is talking about. Mm. I was gonna go bass fishing today, which I will be doing soon. I was gonna go bass fishing today, but I looked up online and it says that the, the temperature we're at now is, is not really too good for bass fishing. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that soon though. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, Lord. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm standing up with this front trolling motor, man, and you can see pretty good in the water. Water's pretty, you know, kind of clear as it's gonna get for this area. In some areas, I can almost see the bottom. Then where the water is loaded, tide is coming in slow. So I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to see if I can see their shadow, or see their back come up, and then smash them. That's all I'm trying to do. And then I'm gonna go back out to the open lake later, try to see if I can mess around with some black drum. I mean, I hadn't did that in a while. I used to love to hit my little black drum spot. I used to get over there and limit out, in the, and within, within who about 20 minutes. But right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna cruise on back here and see what I can see, and hopefully I sight cast me another one. That was nice, man. Being able to just, just see him, and as soon as I threw it over there, he just, he just hit it hard. Man, that was nice. If I can just sight cast me a couple of more, or at least hit me a couple of more, that'd be nice right there too. Oh uh, yeah, that was it right there. That was it. Man. <laughs> I was playing on my phone. And I just, I just threw some little bait out because my arm kind of tired from casting and reeling. And I just had this other little reel just laying down next to my feet. <laughs> the reel almost took off and went in the water. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh, I don't know if he gonna cut it. He gonna cut it, I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like messing around a little bit today. I ended up bringing some uh, dead shrimp with me too, which I haven't fished with dead shrimp in a long time. Yeah, so I do it every now and then just to have fun. Man, that redfish caught me off guard, bitch. He hit that bad boy hard. Like I said, but I don't know if he gonna be legal size or what. But he sure hit it hard. I was sitting there, I had my phone in my hand, and I looked up, the reel was taking, the rod and reel was taking off. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, man. Ooh, he was looking good, too. Oh, God, dog it. There you go. Let me measure him real quick. <laughs> Second redfish of the day. 22 and a half. I didn't catch this one on all official. Like I said, I bought dead shrimp to go to my uh, my, my uh, drum spot to see if I can hit some black drum today. But since I was way back here in this little intersection, I just figured I'd throw me one out and let it sit. And it paid off. It paid off. So I creep. Yeah, I'm creeping through the marsh low, seeing what fish I can catch. Yeah, so I creep, I creep around. All through the marshal, so I can hit me some redfish. <laughs> that's a flounder. Uh. Oh, that's another red. Look like. Is that another red hit? Hey, he look like he's small though. Uh. Look like he's small. Yeah, look like he's gonna be too tiny. He hit that bad boy. He didn't run with it. He didn't start fighting until I pulled him. 
Okay. Yeah, I can look at this one and tell he ain't gonna be, he ain't gonna cut the mustard, but I'm gonna measure him anyway. I'll change my mind. Ain't no need to even measure that, measure that little fella. Still beautiful, look at that. I can tell it's too small. I guess about, I guess I will measure. I guess about 18, 17. Up, 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 up. Up, up. Be good. 16 and three quarter. I was close. Look at that. Just beautiful. <laughs> it hit me right in front of the marsh. Oh, don't. Oh, oh. Don't go around that. Oh. God, he hit me hard, too. Trying to make sure he don't wrap himself around that crab trap. God, he hit me hard. Oh, that's going to be a keeper there, big. Oh, that's going to be a keeper. Oh, don't go toward the crab trap, whatever you do. And that's where he's going. No, no. No. No, not the crab trap. Why are you... Oh. Oh. God. Ah! Ooh, that bad boy. He not strong. He is strong. Come right in front of that marsh opening. Ooh, after I get him, I think I'm going to park over here and keep casting right there. Ooh. Ooh, look. Look, he just pulling me. Look at that. Who needs a trolling motor when you got a redfish? Who needs a troll? Oh, who needs a troller motor when you got a red fish? Woo hoo! Yeah! 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 Take me along for the ride, babe. No, 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 not the crab trap. Woo! Woo! Hey! <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, come here, come here, come here before you break off, yes, oh, oh, that bad boy hit me hard, oh, where this string come from, that's not mine, look just like mine, oh, oh, unless he broke somebody else off, where this string come from? <laughs> We're gonna see it in just a minute. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that bad boy done it. Oh. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the one I just caught. He broke somebody off. He got a jig head. It looked like, I don't know if that's artificial shrimp or something. He gets stuck right down the back of his throat. <laughs> yeah, you might have broke them off, boy, but look, here go the string. <laughs> That's the same kind of string I use. I don't know if they had a weak spot in their line or what. But I, oh, oh, look, man, I gotta keep drop, quit dropping these fish. That's my fault there, because I moved this, this thing up. That's why it always happens. God. If you keep a size, oh well. Might as well leave the string in there and get it out when he get filleted. But if it be too big, I might try to get it out. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to get it out if he's too big. But, oh man, that was nice. That was fun. Oh, he's too big. Oh. Oh, he get to live to see another day. I mean, just a half an inch too long. Enough to get me a fat ticket. <laughs> a half an inch too long. 28 and a half. <laughs> Let me see if I can fish that out of his throat real quick. Woo! <laughs> yeah, time sure flies when you're having fun. Ah! I'm thinking this maybe 2, 2.30. I'll check the time just now. It is 4 o'clock. God. So soon as old Doc going to be getting ready to run me off this water. 
Man, I wish I had a couple of more hours. I'm really enjoying myself, man, for real. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around this corner again, try the drum spot one more time, and if that don't happen, I'm gonna try to ease back in the marsh one more time before it get dark on me. But I kid you not, I'm gonna come out here one day and I'm gonna make a full video of me just sitting in that one spot. You can sit there and you can pull in black drum all day long. And I don't mean no small ones. I mean, every you're catching 17, 18, even a few uh, oversized, you know, almost oversized back to back. And I don't know what it is about that archer spot, but they love to hang out right there. But I have to catch them, I probably on a faster mo uh, moving incoming tide, but oh well. I'm gonna go over there, cast a few times if nothing else happening. I'm gonna try to ease back there again so I can try to catch this one more redfish to be my limit. Cause man, I haven't caught no flounder. I'm surprised. But, but oh well. I'm enjoying myself and I don't wanna go home. <laughs> my leg is something. Mm. 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 Just did a blind cast as I was heading to the other spot. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Come on, please be legal size. Oh, please be legal size. I doubt if it is, though. God. Oh, just a blind cast. <laughs> he just thumped it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. This is called a good day on the water. For real. Oh man, that was nice right there. It looked like he almost undersized. But I won't tell until I put him on the skate. I mean on the uh on the board, babe. Gotta put him on the board. I don't know why I bought them shrimp. Like I said, I'm coming to catch bad. I mean uh ah, quit that, cut that, cut that. I was coming to catch some drum, but once I start catching red, it's over with. Oh man. Oh, I, I love it when the plan comes together, babe. I had just said I was gonna go back in the marsh after I checked my drum spot. And I just started casting out in the open lake as I was headed to the drum spot and boom. Oh man. Be still, be still. 21 and a half, babe. 21 and a half. That makes for my uh for my limit. Make for my limit for the day, bet. I wish I could have found some flying dogs and specs, but hey, this is good enough. Ah. <laughs> I'm not even going back in the marsh now. I'm gonna go hit that drum spot. I might end up catching some more reds over there, but I'm gonna hit that drum spot, and after that, I'm gonna hit it home. It's already out the four. Boom, 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 boom. Got it done, beep. Got it done. I'm at my drum spot. Look at that. I don't know if that's a drum, but. They normally hit right there. I throw it in the same spot like every time. Oh yeah, come on, babe. That bad boy turning the boat around on me. Come on. Come on. I don't know if it's a red or a black drum, but it's my drum spot right here. I normally kill them right here. Oh man, whatever it is. You got a nice little fight to it. Let me sit my butt down. These waves rocking this little boat. So when I get them close, I can... Oh yeah. My little drum spot, bitch. Look at it, look at it. He's just fighting, boy, look at it. Haven't fished right here in a long time. That's another red. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a black drum, man. That's what I come over here for. Come on, a little drum spot. <laughs> God, dog. Oh yeah, <laughs> about to call him out. 
This is a 25 and a half. That's that 21 I just caught. He still got a lot of life left in him. I took him out the bag, man, and he he kicking like crazy. But I'm gonna make sure he good before I let him go. See, look, he's still fighting. So throw him back and keep the 25 and a half. Look, he fighting now. I'm, okay, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> yeah, boy. Look at that. Something bigger for the plate. Big old pretty 25 and a half. Look at that. <laughs> so that let you know how close it was that I caught him. I just caught that, that one and put him in the bag and I come around the corner, threw it, and I hit this one. Yep, call him out, bet. <laughs> yes, sir. Have me a good day on this water. Day almost over with. Like I said, I'm still trying to see if I can hit some black drum in my in my drum spot. That's the only reason why I'm using shrimp. But I wasn't expecting to catch a red on it. But hey, it is what it is, babe. It is what it is. I know some people that uh that prefer to eat uh black drum over redfish. One of the members that go to the church I go to, he always say he like black drum over redfish. And I've met many people like that. But you know, redfish is the one that everybody like to go after, so. But I felt like messing around with some black drum today because I'm always catching reds. But I still haven't seen one yet. I'm still catching reds. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm using this dead shrimp. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. I think that's a drum that time. Whatever it was, was nibbling. It was nibbling. Never did pull it. But I saw it move enough for me to go ahead on and set the hook on him, babe. Set the hook on your babe. Like that dude on YouTube. Hook him in the mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I ain't fishing no more this week. I didn't enjoy it myself. Let's see what we got here. I gotta be a drum the way he was. Man, he didn't even try to take it. Yep, told you my little black drum spot, what I said. Look at that. What I said. A lot of the times if I catch one, there's many more. Look at that. Look at that. I know a lot of people don't like to target black drum. But I know, hey, I catch redfish all the time. Sometimes I like to change it up a little bit. My drag, my black drum spot, bit. Look at that, and that's about the size you get them almost every time. Right there, almost every time. Told you, I knew my spot. 20 and a half. Oh, come on, be still. 20 and a half, look at that. Nice. Nice. And as cold as it is out of the mosquito, still acting crazy. 20 and a half. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go ahead and catch me about one more, I guess, one, one or two more. But that's why I come to this spot, because that's what I wanted to do today, but I end up hitting reds too. But like I said, I know people who love these. All right, folks. I'm getting ready to wrap it up. See the sun? Getting ready to start going down. My drum spot didn't produce like I wanted it to. It, it At least it produced, though. I got me one good red fish, and I got me uh, one nice drum out of it. I still got the line out there. But as soon as I cut this camera off, I'm pulling that in and getting out of here. Might as well go ahead on get it. It's about to get dark. And that's not going down fast. It is going down fast. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if I might have something. That's all I wanted. One more bite before I hit the road. That might be it. Mm, nope. Whatever it was, hit it and come off. All right, God bless. Stay prayerful. Let the Lord work it out. I'm about to get out of here.